It is the 2020 All-Star Draft presented by Jordan Brand. And once again this year, it is our pleasure to bring it to you pick by pick as the captains demonstrate their team building skills right here on TNT. Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith. Can you imagine a draft where you don't, every player you pick is good? <laughs> yeah, because I was, I was wondering, because you guys, you know, you grow up playing ball all your life and you're on a playground and guys are choosing up sides. That's you, not a fun thing, Ernie. Why not? Were you never, it's, were you never, you not, not the first picking, person, when no, you picking is picked? Fun. No, remember I was 5'10 until I was a senior oh. in high school, uh -huh. so I was the last player picked. No. I was always the last player picked. They, they made a mistake, though. They should have assumed I was going to grow. Yeah. yeah. Cause uh, I, I was always doing the picking. I know, so it was, Cause you it was were McDonald's All American. It was it was always fun. Yeah, <laughs> picking guys and leaving guys off. Remember yesterday I asked you to borrow your ball and you think, oh I got him. <laughs> Remember, a couple of years ago, we had this draft, mm. and it was LeBron and Steph were the captains. Remember, yeah. and it was done. You know they did it, and then. We just had to ask them questions later about how it all played out. And they had said at that time, look, this really needs to be televised. So last year we televised it. Giannis and LeBron were the captains. And, and so here we go again, and it's the same captains. Uh, not only will you see these captains in this setting, you're going to see them on our TNT doubleheader tonight. Wow. Bucks hosting the Sixers. Lakers welcome the Rockets to Los Angeles. LeBron James once again the leading vote getter overall, which earns him the first pick. He joins us from Los Angeles. The Bucks' Giannis Antetokounmpo is in Milwaukee. He'll have the first pick when the reserve section of the draft is held. Guys, uh, it is wonderful to see you again today. It, this is old hat for you guys going head to head last year. I'm just, I'm gonna make an assumption, and you tell me if I'm wrong, that with your basketball savvy, you have each already played this out I'm going to take him, which means he's going to take him. I bet you have your ideal team already in mind, don't you? Giannis? I do. I got everything right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a book. Do you have anything, LeBron, on paper, or are you just, uh, are you just go are going to wing it, or do you have notes in front of you, too, that no, we're not no, no. seeing? I got, I got my list right here sitting on my lap, so, you know, I I'm ready to go. I'm ready hey, to Giannis, go. I, I will say this about LeBron. I will say he has been a better general manager than you because the first guy he picked last year is actually playing with him now. So <laughs> he was able to figure that out. <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, but, oh, but if you re but he if played you him in all sides. But if you remember not last year, Giannis accused him of tampering. Oh, that's true. That was, <laughs> exactly, just, exactly. I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. That's all. That's all we do. Listen, those guys, those guys are 80 and zero right now. We don't need <laughs> them to get another player on their team. All right, guys, do not do this right now. <laughs> guys, uh, once again this year, uh, uh, charities are going to benefit from uh, from the game that you play in Chicago uh, at the All Star Game. LeBron, let me start with you. Tell me about your Chicago-based charity you'll be playing for. Uh, the Chicago-based charity I'll be playing for is the Chicago Scholars, and uh, the premise behind those kids are they're first-generation kids trying to go off to college. And um, so, you know, education is so important to me and what I do in my everyday life, so it's great to be able to, um, you know, showcase the Chicago Scholars in this year's NBA uh, All-Star Game. And I don't know if you've seen this, uh, this video clip, but we have the reaction when they heard that they were going to be uh, represented by Team LeBron. Take a look. How's it make you feel, all LeBron? Right, right. Oh man, that made me feel great. I mean, that's <laughs> to put smiles on uh, kids' faces, man. They're our next generation, so uh, for them to, you know, be ecstatic about this opportunity uh, is very humbling for me. That's for sure. And uh, Giannis, you're playing for. I'm playing for After School Mothers. Um, it's a foundation that gives the opportunity to kids to um, participate in after school activities and summer programs. It's something that me and my brother uh, used to do back home. You know, with having our parents, you know, work every day hard to provide for us. Uh, we were able to, you know, have fun, you know, um, socialize with other kids, um, you know, get that second dose of education and just uh, participate in activities with other kids. So it's something that, uh, I really wanted to, wanted to go with. And we have the video also of uh, After School Matters getting the word.
That's awesome. So we wish uh, both teams uh, the best of success when it comes to Sunday and, uh, and charities will benefit from the All-Star Game on uh, February 16th in Chicago. So uh, the stage is set. Um, the captains are ready. We're ready. The sponsors are ready. And as soon as we've heard from the sponsors, then we're going to begin the draft of 2020 here on oh. TNT. <laughs> So we know who's going to be playing. We just don't know which side they're going to be playing for. But that's all about to change because the captains are ready. LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo. LeBron, because you were the leading vote getter overall, that earns you the right once again to have the first pick. I think I know who it's going to be. I'm not going to say anything. Charles and Kenny, their mics are open. They, they're here for assistance if you, if you need it at all. I don't know how likely that is, LeBron. Probably unlikely, <laughs> but... Go ahead. You got the first pick, and the, the starters well, you, well, you go know, first. I, you know, Ken, well, you know, Kenny's name been coming up a lot in, in a lot of GM conversations <laughs> over the last couple of years. Yeah, we, so yeah, we're told I every may, time it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, 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 the only, only right now, my recruitment is a, is a young man at Sierra Canyon in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's the that's the guy I'm recruiting now for my A my basketball team. That's my general manager job right now. <laughs> All right, so with the number one pick in the 2020 All-Star Game, and this was tough. This was very tough. And the only reason I'm picking him, because he happens to be from this city, I'm going to go with Anthony Davis as my number one pick. Uh, I think a, a stunned disbelief. I know y'all surprised. I know y'all surprised. I know y'all surprised. Yeah. surprised. <laughs> totally I know y'all surprised. I know totally surprised. shocked. Uh, now, this <laughs> totally is a big shocked. one for here. Right? This is a big one for Giannis right here. Okay, um, with my first pick, I'm going to go with my African brother. I might play against him tonight, but I think it's going to be a great matchup for uh, Anthony Davis. I'm going to go with Joel Embiid. Ooh, Ooh nice. surprise. Oh, I got to be surprised. That was surprised? Yeah, that what, was surprised. Okay. what page of that uh, book was that on there, that pick? Okay, that's about 15 pages deep. Okay, All very right. good. Uh, LeBron? Uh, with the second pick, um, I know we have a lot to go on here in Los Angeles. You know, there's a lot been talked about between us and them and them and us. But for this weekend, we will be teammates. And I'm going to go with Kawhi Leonard. Wow. It's, wow. An, it's an all LA team LeBron at right. this point. Yes. LA versus the world. Yes. Oh, yeah. and <laughs> that's what it is right now. That's a great I know. Pick. I, I like to see, I'd like to see Giannis scratching off the names as we go. Okay, go ahead. He, he took my guy. So um, <laughs> so with uh, my second pick, I'm going to go with my second African brother, Pascal Siakam. It's the world versus the L.A. Right I like now. it. I, I like it. Yes, yeah, the first time All-Star having a great year with the, with the Raptors. All right, LeBron. Oh, that's, that was a good pick right there, Giannis. That was going to be my next pick. Oh, my goodness. I was going to take Pascal for sure. Okay, so with Pascal off the board, with my third pick, I'm going to take Luka Doncic. Ooh. So Luka, Luka hoping to me. play. He's been, he's been out with a right ankle sprain, but hoping to be available for the All-Star game in Chicago. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping he's available. I'm hoping he's available. Well, he's got three, two guys that uh, patent his game after him yeah. playing. All right, Giannis. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a tough one. Um... I'm between Ken by Trey Young. Wait, you don't, want, I gotta the, go. you don't want the dribbler? <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody that's going to pass the ball. That's what I want. <laughs> so I'm going to go with uh, crossover killer, step back master, Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker. All right. Yeah, you can see that coming. Well, he Walker. needs a guard. He needs a point guard. Yeah. Okay. All right, with the last, with the last pick and the draft for me, um, because I know he can play the point guard position. He plays it all year. He's been doing it for the last few years. I'm gonna go with the beard, James Harden. NBA's leading scorer goes to LeBron with his last pick of the starters, which leaves Trey Young going to. T 
Team Giannis to round like out it. his starting five. Ice Trey. Yes, sir. Now the fun starts. Uh, <laughs> ice <laughs> Trey, Ice Trey. <laughs> so this to me is when you become a general manager. This, this is the part that you fill these this team up with. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. But when you're Giannis right and you've now, got the so first pick of the reserves, I got a pretty good oh, idea what direction he's going to be going with this uh, with his first pick. So, so with my first pick, I really don't know. This is a tough decision. <laughs> it better not I be that tough. Last year, I'm going to get him first, but I didn't promise him this year. <laughs> oh. you no, know, it's all about winning for me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm going to go with Chris Middleton, cash money. <laughs> He's he going to make a bunch of threes. So. You, know, you know, you had to go that direction. Okay. <laughs> hey, LeBron, who are you? LeBron, who are you looking at or who are you whispering to? Who's your general manager? Yeah, who's your are you getting style? some counsel? Oh. He, hey, yo, he got Ron you know, next I got to keep. I got to keep this airtight. I got to keep it airtight. Snitches get stitches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so what's the consensus there? What are you being, who are you being told should be no, your No, no, I'm just saying, because he, he, you know, because I, I have my list and I'm saying, okay, I hope Giannis don't take, I hope Giannis don't take, so, you know, but... I kind of had, I kind of figured that Giannis would take Chris yeah. with his first pick in the second round, as I took AD with my first pick in the first round. So I'm gonna go with um, the guy who's averaged 50 points over the last seven games. Um, it it's, it is that time, yes, it is. Dame mm -hmm. time. Damian Lillard going to uh, yes. Team LeBron. A couple of games of over 60 this season. That's crazy for Dame Lillard. All right, Giannis. What's the book tell you now? Oh, man. Um, that was my pick, actually. He took my pick, Dame Dollar. But uh, I need somebody that's going to play hard. I'm going to play hard. I need somebody that's going to play hard. So I'm going to go with uh, Bam Adebayo. There you go. Oh, nice pick. Bam Adebayo. Coming up early, Bam. First time All-Star getting call. picked early in this, this All-Star. That's Good respect call. right there. Uh, he, he deserves it. He's Good been call. great this year. Yeah, we ain't saying that. That's respect, yeah, though. Good call. Yeah. What you thinking, LeBron? Yeah, that's that's a that's a good call right there, and, and I need to match Giannis when he says someone that plays extremely hard um, size. So I'm gonna go with uh, uh, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons of the <laughs> Sixers going to you had to in fact you you finagled a trade last year to get Ben Simmons, <laughs> did you not? And now you're able to draft him in the. I'm able to draft him. I'm able to draft him this year without a trade. Yeah, I didn't have to give up assets. You know, it's, it works out for me this year. Go ahead, Giannis. That, that trade last year cost me the game. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, so, I got to go with the Eiffel Tower, Rudy Gobert. Ooh. I need somebody to block shots. The Eiffel Tower. Yep, the Stifle Tower. And a first-time All-Star. Congratulations to Rudy Gobert, seven years in the league and finally an All-Star. LeBron. Um, so with him taking Rudy, I want to match size for size. I'm going to take the Joker. Ooh. Nikola Jokic. Uh, I'll tell you what's amazing. If, if the United States played against a foreign team, it'd be a hell of a game. Oh, the U.S. versus would. the world? Yes. Need, hey. Hey, we might need to talk about that, but we can get to that later. We get to that later. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one, Chuck. Okay. Giannis, what you thinking? Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Uh, he's having a great year, and uh, I think he's going match. Uh, he's going to play well with uh, Bama Debayo. Good call. You know, Good it's funny. Thinking. If you look at their teams, yeah, these both the guys are like-minded players that they are choosing of them. Dude, they're all all stars. No, but I'm talking <laughs> about style of play. There's no bad players there is that, on the like, board. You don't, you didn't play like Dr. J, but they're style of play. All right, LeBron, you're up. Okay, with my next pick, um, because I like. Uh, we got to fill the wing spot a little bit more. I'm going to go with first-time All-Star Jason Tatum. Mm. Oh my God! That I can Kill tell it, that dis that disappointed you, Giannis. Yeah, that you was my that was in my on next your pick. Side. All right. I have an idea. Who's okay. 
So, so I'm gonna go with a guy that's really great in the locker room. Cost me the trip to the finals last year, but he's still a great guy. I'll go with Kyle Lowry. Ooh, Kyle Lowry of the <laughs> Raptors. Kyle Lowry, yeah, Kyle Lowry. Latest yeah. great in the locker room. Young like Senator that. Kupo. So five names still up on that board. I'll LeBron. take those five right there. So with uh, my next pick, so he took Kyle Lowry, which is uh, the Bulldog of the East. Um, I'm going to go with a Bulldog from the West, so I'm going to take Chris Paul. Great pick. Chris Paul returning to the All-Star game for the first time in a few years, and obviously one of the main reasons Oklahoma City is having the year they are having what are they, 11 games over 500 now man you know what's amazing something to see i'll take those four, those four guys those right four now. guys is left on the board and we got a chance of winning this thing <laughs> 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 you put them on one team oh my goodness oh yeah oh yeah they won the, they, 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 they won, you can get a guy off the street to go with them four <laughs> all right next up we're so, ready so um with my next pick I'll pick a, a guy that's having a great season, um, helping his team do great things. I just played him a couple nights ago. Kevin, uh, I mean Brandon Ingram. First, <laughs> first guy. time All Star with no, the I mean Brandon Ingram. <laughs> New Orleans <laughs> Pelicans. Oh. All right, LeBron. Uh, with my second to last pick um, of the reserves, I'm going to take. Mr. Why Not, Russell Westbrook. I was surprised Russell was still there at this point. I, not really. I mean, anybody, like Chuck said, that, them four could have been second or third yeah. in either conference. Yeah. And I love some bonus. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see, well, let's see where, where Giannis will go with his last so with pick. my last pick, I'll go with my guy, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell Perfect. of the Utah so get, Jazz. Now the that, teammates. Now the that teammates. means, yes, that means that uh, Demonis Sabonis, a first-time All-Star uh, for the Indiana Pacers. It He's going to be great in this format, Perfect. too. Yeah, on Team LeBron. So the picks have all been made. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back, let you guys break down your rosters, see if there's any way you want to tweak them at all uh, and, and maybe not cost yourself a game. Uh, and we'll be right back. We welcome you back as uh, the picks have been made in the 2020 NBA All-Star Draft by the captains, Giannis Antetokounmpo and LeBron James. Um, so you've had a, a second here to uh, take a look at your rosters. Uh, LeBron, last year at this point, you said, I'd like to make a trade. Are you proposing anything this time around? No. No, you're, I have you're no happy. trades to propose. Yeah, I have no assets. I have nothing. I am completely excited and happy with my team. Giannis? No trade. I'm really happy with my team also. I think we have great guys. They're going to play hard and we're going to get a win. <laughs> well, we'll let you... Uh, uh, we're going to add a rule. After the first quarter of the game, if you, somebody's not playing well, I will let you make a trade. <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, you can recant that. <laughs> True NBA fashion. Oh, he's never getting traded. Oh, he's gone tomorrow. <laughs> well, he's gone tomorrow. <laughs> this is like... You can't pick any bad players. All these guys are well-deserved all-stars. Uh, there's, I mean, you got no weaknesses. I mean, like you said, the last four guys on the board oh, yeah. could be possibly competing for the yeah. East and the West. That's, a good, that's a good thing about this draft. There's no bad players. Uh, you, anything you choose is a good win. What is the mindset, guys, going into this when, uh, when you're picking out who's going to be on your team? How much of it is, hey, I, I really want to play with this guy. I don't get to see this guy very much. How much of that uh, goes into your thinking? I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of both. I, I mean, you know, there's some guys that you, you know, want to play with that guy, you know, and be around him for the weekend. Some of them, some of us are teammates. Obviously, you see me pick AD and Giannis taking Chris. Um, some of it is, you know, you want to win as well. So you know how those guys play when you compete against them. So uh, a, a lot of factors goes into it. But at the end of the day, like, like Chuck has been saying, man, there's no, there's no wrong choice. I mean, we're all all-stars. They're all all-stars for a reason. So, you know, just happy to be a part of it. Giannis, same question to you and what it, uh, 
you know, you haven't been to as many All-Star games as LeBron has, obviously, but you've been to enough to know how be. special this is. I definitely agree. You know, you cannot go wrong. Um, they are the 24 best players in the world. Obviously, you won't pick guys that go and have fun with you. Um, <clears throat> guys that are going to go out there and play hard. And uh, as I said, you know, have fun in the locker room. And just um, obviously, I picked Chris Middleton because I want to go through the experience with him because he's my teammate. But at the end of the day, you can't go wrong. They're all great players, they're all great guys. And uh, hopefully, we can all have fun this weekend. I'm looking at because there's a variety of ages here. How many guys of these guys played? You played with other outside of the NBA, like AAU or All Star, you know, USA teams. Other, like, how many guys that you actually played with, Giannis? I'll start with you. That was non NBA related. Is there anyone on this list? Nobody, nobody. Actually, I haven't, I haven't played with a lot of guys outside the NBA because when I when I was drafted, I came from the second division. I wasn't even playing the first division, so. Um, I never had the chance to play in um, the national team, AU, or stuff like that. Wow. I, listen, this is a great format, but I'm just sitting here looking at these European players and guys from Greece and everywhere. I think in the future, the NBA need to take a look at the United States against the world would be a hell of a game. You know what? I, I agree, Chuck, and, I, and LeBron, you can test to this, but I get to the point where I don't look at guys and say he's from Europe anymore. I like, I don't think people in Dallas go, Dirk Nowitzki's Europe. No, no, but I'm you just saying, I mean? I just, I'm talking about to spice up the All-Star game. Okay. Kind of I mean, like take a page of what they do on Friday night. Okay. Yes. With the U.S. Because it's a worldwide yeah. game, but they got, you look at this board, there's at least 10 European players in this game or guys from Africa. That would be a fun contest.